And with that in mind, let's bring in political analyst Dallas Jones this morning. Good to see you here. Hey, good morning. How okay, are you? Okay, let's talk about what's going on. A lot happened last night. Some people were expecting yeah. it. Others were just shocked by it. But the question is, now that Cruz is out, will Kasich be next? Well, I, I, I fall into the shocked category. Yeah, I thought too. Cruz I did would too. try to take it all the way until the convention. Mm -hmm. He's got money. It, it, that didn't happen. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there are a couple of big states still coming. And and I think he, he decided that he could see the writing on the wall. Uh, Trump is only a couple of hundred votes away from clinching the nomination. And I think that the end was probably inevitable for him. I think Mr. Kasich should probably see that train coming as well pretty soon. Um, I, at, at the beginning of this political season, people thinking Donald Trump is the nominee uh, would be bizarre. And, and now it would be bizarre for anything other than him to be the nominee to happen. It has baffled any mind that has studied politics over mm -hmm. uh, however long. I, I remember sitting on this couch talking to you, telling you, he's gonna fizzle. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gonna go mm -hmm. away. This is gonna it didn't happen. Um, Donald Trump is the presumptive nominee um, for the Republican Party, for the presidency of the United States. It is simply fascinating. And you know, I don't ever remember before, I mean, of course, there's always mudslinging in politics, but I never remember before the favorability factor being so low for the people who make it either, because it's certainly a shoe in for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. And while they're at the top, mm -hmm. they're also at the bottom in so many opinions. That's correct. I mean, what, what you see is is really a, a distaste by, by the American public for one establishment government. Um, and so uh, that means different things on both sides. I think for the for the Republicans, I mean, I mean what that means is the, the establishment, uh, uh, moderate, mm -hmm. um, um, uh, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, party person mm -hmm. right and Donald is is not that but at the same time he's polarizing mm -hmm. and so you know it it, it, it trudges up um, all kinds of emotions amongst folks and, and Hillary Clinton just has a, a distrust issue mm -hmm. um, people just don't trust her because she's been in government so long there's been so many uh, scandals tied to to her name and mm -hmm. so you know folks are kind of looking for a place to go and this is where we've landed yeah uh, with that in mind Bernie Sanders while the, he has um, a big task in front of him, nearly insurmountable as well, um, continues to be a thorn in Hillary Clinton's side. Well, one of the things that's true is that she has begun to pivot towards Donald Trump, when the reality is that she, she may want to focus on making sure that she clinches the nomination. That's all but inevitable. Bernie would have to win 66% of the next contests that are coming up in order to beat her. And, and considering the Democratic Party doesn't use the winner-take-all system, that's pretty, that's pretty close to impossible for him to take that much but there are some states coming up that favor him such as Oregon um, you know right now Hillary Clinton is leading fairly well in the polls in California but she was leading in Indiana and we mm -hmm. saw how that turned out last night so it's still very much a, a race and unlike uh, Cruz it looks like he is in it for the long haul right I don't see him dropping out anytime soon he's going to be there and trying to wait and wait it out till the convention well that's that's what we we see at this mm -hmm. moment but I think depending on what the next couple of contests goes someone's going to have to begin to put poll Senate Senator Sanders uh, a coattail and say, we're spending a lot of money here. He wants a spot at the table when they finally get to their convention saying, look, I, I have this this block of support. I want some of my ideas included in, in the where in where we go. I think he should have a spot at the table. I think what he has done is he has he has galvanized and excited a part of the the Democratic Party and, and he cannot and should not be ignored. Um, you know, this was supposed to be a shoe in for Hillary Clinton. Um, and, and and Bernie Sanders was able to really uh, uh, invoke emotion mm -hmm. in folks that wanted them um, to, to demand something different so he should be at the table I, I, I wouldn't say a vice presidential nominee but he should definitely be at the table be a part of the mm -hmm. process be a part of the convention to help unify their party all right a lot of surprises along the way there's sure to be more and we'll oh, have yeah. you to walk us through that so Dallas Jones <laughs> good to see you as always always good to be here thanks Dallas always an interesting talk I would hazard